Hello and welcome to the Orc Framework tutorial series. Today we're going to be covering adding some colors to our library as well as creating some area notifications. So as you run through different places, it'll notify you the area as well as like a little description of what that area is. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Uh, in the Orc Framework, select Game, select Colors, and then you'll see that I've already added four new ones here. So you can click Add four times. And put the, if you want, you can go ahead and put them in this order just for the sake of following the tutorial one-to-one. -one. It'll be yellow, red, green, and blue. Just type that in. Once you have that done, what you want to do is... And the reason I did this is I'm just awful at typing today. I can't seem to get it together. So just take this guy, slide it all the way over. Now you have your yellow one. Go to your red. Click in here. All the way up. And your green. Same thing. So something else that you can do is you can also go uh, online and you can find the hex code right here, this hex color code. You just go online and you can find anything, any kind of color you're looking for. If you're looking for a particular shade of a color, go ahead, go online and search for that. Um, Adobe has a really cool tool called uh, Cooler. It's spelled with a K. It's very strange in the web pages and incredibly long so I won't put the link in there but if you search cooler with a K and it's O U L O R something to that effect they have this really cool thing that shows you how to use complementary colors so once we're there let's go into that's another thing you don't have to try to like find it here if you notice I just went through here and changed it all the way to the blue setting same here the purple gives you the combination colors so you can start messing with that there's more of an orange yep there you go so there's that, and then it'll give you the blue so you can get back to it. Just a little fun way to learn how to use that. Okay, so now we have our blue done. The next thing we want to do is we want to create a GUI box. Oh, now that we've got those colors done, let's just save it so we don't forget. Last thing you want to do is hit play and then it remove everything. All right, so in our menus, you're going to create a new menu box, a new GUI box. So in menu, select GUI boxes and click add. You're going to create one called area notifications. Just go to our base settings here. Area notifications, you can leave this default layer. Uh, change the height adjustment to auto, and the rest of these you can leave uh, disabled. Go to content box settings, and change the bounds to 640 by 800 by 400 by 200. Go ahead and play with this on your own to find the box setting that works for your screen resolution. The resolution that is being used in the tutorial is 1280 by 800, as well as the demo that you can download. So we're just going to follow along with those numbers. If you're building 1080 resolution, you're probably going to want to adjust those. You want your anchor set to lower center. Uh, show box should be enabled. Top. Uh, the rest of this is pretty much going to stay the same. You're not going to mess with any of this text format for that. However, in the name box settings, you are going to mess with a couple of things. So you're going to change the bounds to 200. And uh, this should already be 50. Anchor lower left relative to upper left, relative bounds enabled, show box, adjust height and adjust width, sorry, width and then height, all enabled. And then go ahead and use the drop down for the text format, and you'll see that it is already yellow. So you can do that here, and there's an also another way to do that that I'm going to show you in just a moment, the way that you want to do it, and that is uh, through a little bit of uh, stuff inside the Orc framework, but you do want to change the font size to 15 and then the font style of bold and that'll be it for that so next what we want to do is we want to go back over to game and go to game settings we don't need base settings we need area settings and then open up the area settings and mine are all closed like that because I hit the closed button and just helps me find stuff a little faster okay so open up area settings and then you, you want to do is go down to notification layout and then area notification show and then enable that. Change your GUI box to area notification so it uses the settings we just made. Visible time 3 seconds, that should be kind of what yours is auto by default. Show portrait should be defaulted. Uh, title, select that and then type in percent %tn. And you'll see right here percent %tn is the type name. And then you're going to want to go down to text and edit text. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can type this by hand or let me just show you real quick. Um, you have to type this portion right here, percent n pound color, right? 
but if you want to get this text.center and this text.color, if you'll see here, let's deselect that so this looks like what yours might look like. So you want text, let's get down here, text.center, so you want to hit center. And then text.color th uh, three, go ahead and select more, colors, three, and then add, text.color three. And that's it. And then you want to type in percent n pound and then color. Okay, so and this, that's going to be the same thing with the uh, additional one, text.left percent d. You actually have to type in percent d and ju then just hit this little button left here and it'll give you that. Okay. Once you're finished with that, click OK. And that's it for the game settings. What we want to do next is we want to select a world. You want to go to area types. You'll see there's going to be two sections we're going to hit up area types and then areas. In area types you want to create two area types and these are the places that the player will navigate so if your game has five different scenes that the player navigates actively you're going to want to add five of these and you'll notice they also correspond with our scenes down here town and field so once you have both those created add a little description to them kind of whatever you want this is the kind of place where you can add like a notification or a little like picture for the icon if you want uh, areas, you're going to create six new areas. And this will what this will do is when we create our areas inside of our scenes, this is all the information that you're going to need to help display all that, all, all the notifications. So create six, you're just going to uh, rename the first one, it'll say default, and you're going to do town entrance, tree square, backyard, road to town, woody road, woody value, and plain field and add a little description for whatever you want. I like to kind of mess with these a little bit. But the important thing that you want to do is after you have the name and the description down is you want to go to area settings and you want to change the area type so that corresponds with each area it's supposed to be in. So three, four, five, and six should be field while zero, one, and two are town. You'll see here town, four, town entrance, tree square, and backyard, and then switches to field for each of these. Okay, once you're done with that, that is all we need to do. So go ahead and you'll want to click save and then go to your scene. So we're going to start out with the field, or I'm sorry, the town. And in the town, I uh, am using orthographic just to get the layout a little bit easier and kind of let you see the area clearly without uh, any perspective. So you want to create an empty game object and call it area notifications. This allows you to group everything within that area notification. While it's selected, go to your scene wizard and then create object and you're going to go to area. And it didn't put it inside. Perfect. Okay, so you'll see I created this area right here. I'm not going to use this. I'm actually going to delete this. So once you have the area created, you're going to go into on the right here where it says area settings and you're going to into this drop down and you're going to change it to that particular area. So we had our area type and now this is the actual area. Show notification auto name object and the reason we're using the auto name is because we kind of coded uh, we hard coded what each of these will mean based on this right so you have this one and then you have the tree square here and then your backyard each of these have been changed in the corresponding area to the right once you have that complete you don't really have to save your scene you just click field it'll ask you to save and then we're going to scroll back out in orthographic, top down. Okay, and you'll see I've done the same thing. Created an empty game object in the center, and then I went and created six areas. So one of the things that you want to be aware of is when you're creating a lot of areas in your scene, one of the best things you can do, if you notice here, these all have two, three, four, five, six, stuff like that. It's because I could use Control D to duplicate it. So if I select this eighth one, hit Control D, Gives me a ninth one. It just sits it right on top. I move it over. Oops, that's the whole thing moving. And then if I select that, there you go. It's back over where it was, or the uh, eighth one is still there. So just go ahead and delete that. We don't need it. And you don't have to do this many. Like I said, this is just a one to one to the tutorial. So if you feel like you only need one for here and one back here, then that's all you really need to do. If you can, if that's all, all it takes for you to like get this down. So inside your area notifications, we need to make some changes. This is not the town entrance. So let's go ahead and change this to the road to town. Then this one will be, uh, let's go to Woody Road. You can name these whatever you want. 
Lee Road. We'll call this Wood Valley. And if you kind of want to see what you're trying to name it, we're down here. And I'm like, oh, this is probably not, you know, a woody. Uh, it's probably not a woody valley. It's more like a woody road, or it's more like a plain field. Anything you want doesn't really matter. Change this one to Woody Road. Since it's on a road. All right, there we go. So we have all of our areas named. Let's do this and then click this guy. There we go. All right, so that's it for colors and area notifications. If you have any questions, make sure to comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.